Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and we're going to add our embellishments and finish up our AJ journal because I want to take this with me next week when we're out of town with the kids so that I can put Aaron's pictures and memorabilia and things in here. So we're going to finish this up, uh, hopefully. So I want to ask you guys a favor, if you don't mind. I know we have lots of people who watch our channel but are not subscribed. If you would click that subscribe button, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Um, every so often YouTube sends us this little thing that says you have, you know, 40% that watch that's not subscribed. But the reason I'm asking this is next week we're going to do a series on using junk mail for to make embellishments and ephemera for, for your journals so at i think i'm going to do eight days worth of that and at the end of that eight days what i would like to do is do a little giveaway since we're going to be out of town and so i'd like to do a little giveaway but the thing of it is you cannot win unless you are a subscriber to our channel uh we had had one lady who actually a while ago she uh, told me she was subscribed, and when we got to check in, she wasn't subscribed. So I had to take the gift that should have been hers and give it to somebody else because you have to be a subscriber in order to win, not just a watcher. That's just one of the rules that we put in play. Um, it just, you know, it makes it a little bit easier for us because we can just pull up and see if you're subscribed or not. So, but if you would do that, if you would hit that red subscribe button, I would appreciate it so much. You won't get any notifications, I don't think, because I think YouTube doesn't even send out notifications anymore. Uh, if they do, maybe they've just started it back. But you won't get any emails from us, anything like that. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button. I have, I need to cover this right here with something. This is where we put that fold-out envelope on here, and I need to cover that. So I'm just going to flip through here, see what I might have left that I can put on there. I have plenty of paper left. I can always add that in. Hmm, that might be pretty to add that and just do a little side tuck. Let's do that. So we're just going to craft and you guys can follow along with me and we'll talk, we'll discuss some things. Oh, I will tell you, this is another Brooklyn update. Um, she is homeschooled, as you know, and Brooklyn is, <laughs> I don't know, she's a little bit defiant on the homeschool thing. She says, this is not my real school, but anyway. Um, I, I made a deal with her. I said, okay, Brooke, if you will make sure you get all your lessons caught up and, you know, even past what you are supposed to have done by the time we leave to go on the trip next week, then I will give you $50 to put on your green card, as she calls it. <laughs> She said, oh, Nanny, I can never do that. That's a lot. That's a whole lot of days. And I said, well, you know, you can give it a try. So Alicia texted me last night and said, Mom, I think you better get that $50 ready. And I said, what? And she said, Brooklyn has been busting her rear, <laughs> getting her lessons caught up. She's almost caught up so that, that she'll be able to... Um, get that fifty dollars from you i said oh my goodness i said i never thought that she would do it and she said oh she's been working hard she said today she worked on i think she said lesson uh 31 and i just needed them to go through 35 so she said yeah she's working hard she said you offer her money on her green card and she's gonna she's gonna bust it <laughs> And Presley, on the other hand, I give her the same deal, and she's like, mm, okay. She doesn't care about money. Brooklyn is a little money hog, but Brooklyn told her mom, said, oh, mama said, I can take that $50 and put it on the bus fund, and that's $50 more toward getting the bus. I think we'll be able to get it in a couple of more weeks. <laughs> so, bless her little heart. She's a mess. So I think I'm going to owe her 50 bucks. 
I do believe, which that's fine. I will definitely pay up. I just wanted to give her a little bit of an incentive to get busy. And I've probably still got green ink on my fingers from yesterday. It didn't all wash off last night or this morning when I took a shower. So I'm not... I'll probably have to put a little Clorox on there. And I, I hate to put Clorox on my... You know what? I just glued the wrong part of that. I hate to put Clorox on my hands a lot because it, it chaps them. But I'll probably add a little bit to my water and wash them that way. And I know a lot of you have told me different ways to get ink off and I, I understand. I just don't have any of the soaps or things that you have told me about. I need to get some. I'm told that lava soap or something gets it off and usually it comes off real easy but yesterday I worked quite a while with it on there and if I let it sit then it doesn't come off too well. Okay. So that's all I did right there and then this is a side tuck and we'll make something to go in that so that covers that little envelope place up now some of you asked where you could get this stencil I know noticed in a few comments and I think we still have some of these left I'm trying to see I don't see I can't see where there's some still hanging there. But I think we still have some of these left. And if not, I will make sure that I find it somewhere else if I can. And I'll link it below. Either way, it'll be linked below. I love it. I mean, I thought it did really well on adding some texture and some different things to our pages. Let's see if I can find it like that. I love that. Okay. All right. Let's lay that over there. And now... We have got, what else do we have that we make? We need to make a tag for this. Um, that's probably okay. I don't know if I'm going to add anything there. I might add a pocket. I like pockets because I can tuck all kinds of memorabilia in there. This one is finished. That one basically is finished. I'll probably add something here. A pocket or a flip out or something. Let's see what we have going to go into our this is my little ephemera bucket for this kit or for this particular journal then we could do a belly band there this is one of the belly bands that we made just out of you know the scrap different scraps hmm. or I could put my little flip out pocket that Katie made for me. I think I'll use it somewhere else. I think right here I'm going to use a belly band. I'm just going to use this whole piece. It works. It goes all the way down to the bottom, so that's good. And we just did this on some vellum. And we just put, just like collaged it and put different things on there. I may be a little bit hoarse this morning. It's just the morning I don't know change of weather thing and it's pretty early here so far so I am I've got my coffee over here I'll be drinking on it okay all right I'm gonna let that sit a while I like that there and I can tuck some things under that so let's see got that page this one is finished it's got that pocket on it that we made with the little glycine bag now I'd like to put something here because I don't that you know I don't want all of that book page to show so I thought about this is one of the tags that we made yesterday for Rachel's challenge and I haven't backed it yet but I thought about just putting it down as a tuck like that what do you think Think, what do you think? I don't know. I think I'd rather tuck that in a pocket. So I'm going to put this down on there. This is the, let's see, is this one she made? Yeah. This is the little pocket that Katie made. Yeah, it's got her information on there. And then I'll just make some little tags for this. I don't, I think she just included some different goodies in here. And so I'll make some tags for that. But I'm going to glue that down just on three sides. And then... I can 
put another tag behind it. And since this one is going to be mine, then I can keep this and I'll know how it's made. And then let's see, I need a, need a little clip for the top. I think I actually took her clip off of this one and used it on mine because I didn't have anything to make another clip with. So I'm just going to put another one on here. This is some that she made as well. Whoops. If I can get it on there. There we go. Okay. All right. So then that is closed. And let's see. I don't think this tag will fit behind there. No, it's too wide. We'll make a tag for that. So that's that one. Um, let's see. On this page, I'm not sure how much I want to do on this page. Okay, I think I'll make a little pocket right here at the bottom and then have a pretty large tag in there. So this is the right width. I just might need to cut it off a little bit. Let's see. Well, I could make it that tall. It's not a problem. Let's just do that. I am going to punch a little pool in the top of it. So I am sure when we get back from the trip with the kids that there will be many, many Brooklyn stories because she's going to be there with us. So I'm sure there's going to be lots of stories. <laughs> oh boy. She's so much fun though. Like I said, the other ones are a little bit older and they just kind of hang to their self and you know, they're teenagers and so they they don't hang around us as much as Brooklyn does. Brooklyn's right in there with us and she's always doing something or into something so we have lots of stories from her. Okay now we can put some ephemera on that. See what we would like. Okay I think I might. This is a little card that we made. And I think I may put that right there and then have another little tuck pocket at the top. Hmm. That will work. Like I said, I like lots of pockets and tucks because sometimes I like to stick things down in there, the memorabilia and things. I like to stick it down in there rather than glue it down right then because I may not know exactly where I want it. Okay, there we go. Now we got a pocket on a pocket. And I'm thinking that one of these tags will fit down in here. Yep. So all I need to do is cover the back. Let's see. I think that's the only one I didn't cover the back on. Hmm. Kind of strange that I didn't do that. All right, let's find some paper and I uh, may just use some of this book page if I can find any that doesn't have color on the back of it. There we go. We can use that piece and we'll just cover this and then I'll probably punch a little hole in the top and put a ribbon in there. And I should have put this on before I stitched it, but I think I, I thought I was had put the backing on all of them, but evidently I didn't. Oh, and by the way, I, I apologize for not putting the photos of these right at the end of the video. I told you I would, and then I got the video uploaded, and I, it just my mind just went blank. I didn't do it, so it's my fault. My fault. Sometimes I forget from the time I do the video till I upload what I have said. But 
because I edit mine so it takes me a while to edit and then by the time I edit put links all that I forget other stuff it's just a lot to remember but I'll show you these again I mean I didn't get to stitch all of them because believe it or not I ran out of brown thread and I didn't want to stitch them in any other color so I um I had to just stitch part of them and then didn't get them all done okay find my card and that I think that got me aggravated because I had tons of thread there for a while and I gave a lot of it away and now all of a sudden I'm running out of thread <laughs> so I've got to I got to put in an order for some thread okay there we go now let's use our ribbon punch and this is in my Amazon store I will link well it's always linked below but um, you should be able to go over there and find it real easy should be right at the top I like my little ribbon punch now let me get some seam binding to put in here Well, I'm just going to use this. This is some sorry silk, and I have been putting it in the other pieces on here, so I'm just going to use a piece of this. And someone sent me this sorry silk. I don't know where exactly it came from, but I was gifted it. So I'm sure you could go on Etsy and just type in sorry silk, and you can probably find it real easy. Okay, and I like that's going to stick out the top. Now we need a little tag for here, and I think I made a small one somewhere. Let's see, that's too small. No, it's not too small, but it could use another one. I think I might just tuck this little postcard ephemera in there. I can journal on the back of that too. So that'll go in there like that. And then I'm going to put that butterfly right there. And this was in the ephemera of the AJ kit. And let's see, unless they sold last night, we may have one more AJ kit left. And if you don't know what the AJ kit is, you can go over to the website and you can just click on it and then look down under it and it'll it'll give you the information on what the AJ kit is all about. I know I had somebody that said that they they heard me talk about the AJ kit but they had no clue what it was well you know I've told it many many times Aaron AJ is my grandson that has autism and these are his kits that he puts together he works here um, some and these are his kits that he puts together and sells for him to make a little bit of money um, he doesn't he can't work at a public job because of his disability so we, he works here and does a very good job and he wanted to start putting some kits together on his own so that he could you know well he didn't really think about the money part of it that was our thought but um, he just he saw us putting the e-club kits together and he said I want to put kits together and was like okay so he's he started helping his mom pick out things for kits and he usually picks out most everything that goes in the kits and then he normally he helps me video this time he's been working a lot at home trying to get ready for them to be gone for a while so he hasn't had a chance to come over and work with me this time but he uh he normally works with me on the kits and then we you know we do tutorials on it and that kind of thing but and there's always a letter in your kit that you know from him when he signs it but he's just a sweet boy he's 21 but uh, you know he's probably on I don't know probably a fourth or fifth grade level maybe but 
you know, they, he's still come a long way from what they said he would be. They said he would never walk, never talk, never do anything for himself, never show any emotion, and all that. And he definitely has, <laughs> well, between he, <laughs> so he and the Lord have proved the doctors wrong. This is his kit, or his letter that you would get in your kit. And that's him. And then he signs it. And this is going to go in my on here and I think I might just tuck it behind that I'm gonna make this a little side tuck but he's a sweet boy and this is the only way that he has to earn any money so we we pay him all the proceeds from the AJ kits go to him they don't we don't make anything off of it all we do is take out what the cost of the product is for the store and everything else goes to him. So that in a nutshell is basically what the AJ kit is. Alright. Now, I feel like we need something here. We've got this bag here. But, maybe something right here. I'm going to look in some of my pre-made ephemera and see what I can come up with here. don't want to do a lot of flowers because it's going to basically going to be a little journal about him. Let's see. If we put that there, there's a side tuck in it. It doesn't, I mean, it has some flowers on it, but I think those might be okay. Let me flip on through just a little bit more and see if I see anything different. Okay, I may go with this one because this one actually tucks from this side. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with that one. And this is, I think we made this from one of Rachel's tutorials. Um, one of her challenges, I do believe. I will see if I can remember to link it below. And I am going to probably make this another little tuck, too. So it'll be a tuck on a tuck. Tuck on a tuck. So see, we've got a tuck there, and then I'll have a tuck under here. And we'll put, when that dries away, we'll put our little tags in there. See my fingers? i still got brown fingers. All right, we need a large tag or something for that. Okay, let's see about one of the tags that we made yesterday. Oh, we might do this one. Yeah, that one will work. Now, I do need to put my little punch in the top of this. And run our seam binding through there. And look at that. I didn't cover that one either, so we're going to have to cover it. I don't know. I got busy. I got busy and forgot what I was doing. That, that happens quite a bit another book page those pieces in the front of your books or front of old books they're fantastic for doing this covering the backs of tags and things I'm just going to use this on here but um, I use those all the time I pull them out and put them in a little bag by themselves, and I either use them to back collage pages or I use them to back my uh, journal cards or my tags. I'm using this on here because this has already got stitching on it and I want to make sure that it sticks well. And then the little extra pieces that we cut out of this, what I use that for is stamping my words and things on. When I'm going to have a day of just stamping words with my stamps that I have, I use the little extra pieces for that. So nothing goes to waste around here. Not sure I got that glued down well. I think it is. Put a little ink on it. All right now let's see if we can hit that hole in the same place. Probably not. Well, I think we did. Okay. Now let's put another piece of our sorry silk in there. 
And I'm going to cut this piece right here. It's got some green on it. I think that'll look good there with that green plant. And if you didn't see this video, <laughs> oh, I'll try to remember to link it at the end or below one. This is, you know, we did a little bit of drawing. This is one of Rachel's challenges. And you know I don't draw, but um, I did draw one. Let's see. And then I, after I drew that one, I thought, well, why don't I just go ahead and draw the other ones? I mean, I was drawing anyway. I did draw that one. <laughs> So, I don't think it was so bad. It was alright. And I'll probably include that one in here somewhere. I love that bag. I'm not going to do anything else to that. Okay. And then this, we have that in. So, we're good there. We've got a tuck there that we can put something in. Let's see if that'll fit. Oh, my little... Let's see. I think my little pocket flap I should have glued down better maybe let's see yeah that'll tuck there and I'm not going to put anything on the top of it and I've already got it back so we'll tuck that right there this needs a tag so let's see if I have any tags in here that would work and I keep my ephemera my already finished ephemera and things like this I've got two or three of those over there and then when I'm doing a journal I just pull from these well I pull from these first if I can't find something that works then of course I go to something else but oh that'll fit right there and I love that green butterfly and he likes butterflies too so that'll work okay now we definitely need something there, I think. So I know I've had lots of people who have asked me, what do you do with all that ephemera you make? Well, this is it. This is what we do with it. Now this is a, let's see. This is something that we made a while ago. I was trying to remember exactly how I made it, but it has a pocket here a pocket here and then a pocket here and I probably would have to go back and look at the video to see exactly how I made it let's see yeah I, I don't remember I'll just have to look at the video I'll try to find the video and link it below too but um these are nice now you could use this as a flip or use it as a pocket and I'm going to put it down here as a pocket and then I can put tags and everything all in it I know it wasn't hard I just can't remember exactly how I made it but if I can remember I will link it below and if I can't you can nudge me just let me know that you'd like to see it and I'll see if I can look it up sometimes I have to search and look just like you guys do Okay, put that there, and then we need a tag here, a tag here, and a tag there. So we need three tags for that. All right. Then we have, this is a page that we did for our new page ideas. So we did that, and we have the tags here. You could put something here, but I think I'll leave that for now, for maybe journaling, whatever. Uh, that page I'm going to leave, but I think I may. Let's see if this fits. Yeah. I know this has some pink in it, but I like this pocket. I think the pocket itself, someone sent it to me. It looks like it's a die, but I, I'm not sure where I got it. I think one of you guys sent it to me, but I think we might put that right there. Well, here we go. So Catherine sent it to me. That's where it came from. So Catherine, this is going in my AJ journal. I'm glad you stamped the back of it. A lot of times, you know, you guys send me things and there's no name on it. And when I get ready to use it, of course, by then I've already forgot where it came from. So put your name on it if, if you can. If you don't have a stamp or something, just write your name on the back. I don't care. 
I, I like to use things in my journals that they have the names on them and see on this one what I'll do since I glued this down is on the back of one of these little tags I will put Catherine so I just put from Catherine 2021 that way I'll know that this was sent from her she made it cute I like that there all right this page um hmm I think for now we may leave that I don't know I want journaling places here but I don't know what I want to put on there so and this bag is way too big All right, I'm going to leave that for right now because I can't decide what I want to do with it. But I do I do think I'm going to put something over there. Uh, let's see. We have that there. And we, we have a uh, tutorial on this too. This is one of the gatefold pages that we did. Try to remember to link that. Okay. Let's see put something right here oh I'm sitting here holding this I got this yesterday from Susan let's see I got a package yesterday and it said a gift for you and it I opened it up it was from Susan Stinson I've been knowing her for a few years now we met in Pigeon Forge at one of the uh, classes that I did and she said she had been following me ever since she sent me a leather book weight isn't that sweet I did not have one of those, have never had one of those. So thank you, Susan, so much. Look, that comes in handy. <laughs> I'm sitting here holding it down and that sitting right in front of me. I forgot all about it. Oh, me. But yeah, she's a sweet, sweet girl. I can remember our time together up there. We had so much fun at those classes. All right, we, I want to put something here. Maybe just another pocket, if nothing else. And this is the pocket that Katie made. Let's see, I think. I know she made it, but I think this is the same as the one. Let's see. I think I made one like this too. Yeah. So I'm gonna put this right here, I think, and we'll just need to put a uh we'll need to put a tag in it maybe. Because I think she just had goodies in it. And so I'll just make a tag for it. Because I took the goodies out. They're all in my stash now. And I know I'm covering up this page. but And that's fine. This is one that I made. This is not one that Rhonda made. And I'm just covering up part of it at one side. So I still have the other side. So not to worry. Now let's see if we have a tag to go behind that. Um, let's see, I'm looking, I am a looking, I may have to go to my other little folder, this one doesn't have a lot of tags in it, that's a lot of stuff, but not many tags, okay, we got this tag, that'll probably work, maybe, let's see, oh yeah, slide right down in there, and that's just some collage tags that I did. So that works. And let's see. So we've got that side of that. And then right here, I think I might put, this is a, let's see. It's a corner tuck with a pocket. I'm trying to figure out if I glue that and that. I'll still be able to tuck something down in there, maybe. So let's glue that down. And I just need to glue here, here, and here. All of this ephemera I have videos on back through the through the months. Okay, so we need a little tag for that. Let's see. 
Okay, I think I'll put that tag back there, and that's one that I watercolored a long time ago, many, many moons ago. And maybe that one in there. And I need to punch out the little hole on that one and put a string or something in it. And then we need a big tag for here. Or a, it can be whatever. It doesn't have to be a tag. What about this? This is a little, it's an envelope. It has a pocket in it. And then it has a little journaling card in the front. Put that in there. And then it just adds a little bulb clip with a piece of vellum that I stamped. So put that in there. Then over here. So let's put this guy back down on there. And we need a big something for that. What about this little notebook? This I made a while ago and I love them. It's got a little tag here, a little tuck tag there, and then it has a notebook here that actually, let me see, that actually slides out, it's supposed to slide out, yeah, slides out so that you can use this for something else if you want or you can put another notepad in there we made those gosh last year i guess we might have to make more of those i love that but i think i'm going to tuck that in there that's going to be kind of big for that but that'll be a good little notebook to take out and journal on real quick like if you have a lot of little things to journal in here before you put it in the actual journal, that'll be a good little notebook. So I like that. And I really don't think I'm going to do anything to the front. I may put some lace right here. But let's flip through it again and see what we got. Okay, we got that there. I don't think I want anything there or there. Got that there. And I got the belly band here. We do need to put something behind the belly band. Let's see. This is a little pop-up card. This is another one of Rachel's challenges, and it has the plastic down here for the little pockets. So we might just tuck that under there. This has got some vellum on it too, so that'll work. And then let's see. Already got tags in there. I do have a little spot back here, I think, where we can tuck. We'll just tuck that little pocket in there. And then I've got a little place there that I can tuck some stuff. Stuff. Let's see, that's a flip, actually. Let's see, that's going to take quite a tall tag. So this is just an ephemera. Um, ooh, I don't know if that's going to go or not. This is a tag that we made. Another one of Rachel's challenges, I think. And it's just a collage tag. Yeah, that'll go. It's pretty tight, but it'll go. And then we had some places in there to put little tags, but I think I'm going to use those little pockets for memorabilia instead of tags, since we've got lots of tags in here. Okay, that. This is already finished. Again, I think this opens up, and it's got some places for tags in there, but I think I'm just going to use it to put memorabilia in, little tickets and things. It's got Aaron's letter in there. Good journaling space. We need something here and here. That's way too big. Oh, that's that fits in there perfect. Now I need a smaller one. Let's see. Uh, I think one of you guys made this for me, but. I don't know about those little beads in here. That might be a little much. I'll save that for another one. There's a sweet little tag right there. Tuck that in there like that. Make sure I don't have another one that works better. Let's look at this one. Yeah, I like that one better, okay. Got our tags in there. Got the tag in there. We could always put another tag in there. There's lots of room. Got our tags in there. Okay. 
Got our tuck tag in there. Tag in there. Uh, here, we need tag, tag, and tag. Let's see if this one will fit in this side. Now, that actually needs to be a journaling card in there. All right, that one will fit there. Need one a little bit larger for that. I know these have got flowers on them, but, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't care. This is going to be actually mine. It'll just have a lot of his photos and things in it, so that'll be okay. He will not mind at all. Which he loves working with flowers anyway, so he's not going to care. Uh, I need something to tuck in here. I guess I realized going through here that I don't make a lot of journaling cards, and I need to. Let's see if that will fit. Oh, almost. Okay, I think I'm just going to tuck one of those in there and just leave it hanging out like that. I'm not going to try to put it all the way back. That'll work. And then this, we already got our tags in. This one we have tags in. Yeah, it's got plenty of tags in that one. And this has got our tag in there. This has a tag in it, and inside I'll just do memorabilia. This one we've got tag in there. And tag here. And we got that there. Alright, so I think that's all for the inside. Look how chunky it gets when you add all of your memorabilia. I love, love, love that. Okay, I am going to put some lace there. So let me grab some lace. I think I'll use this vintage lace. This is uh, one of you guys sent it to me, I'm sure. But it doesn't look quite so lacy. <laughs> but I like it with this. Oh yeah, I like that. So let's grab some Fabri-Tac. Alright. Okay, I think this is the right side, hopefully. Grab our... Oh, I like that. I may have to put a little more glue right here. Nope, maybe not. Okay, let's trim that off. Whoops, I almost trimmed my little, these little things off. Almost cut them. I don't know that I'm going to put charms on this one anyway. I may just cut those. Go ahead and cut those off. Sometimes I don't on mine. Okay. Ooh, I like that. I'm going to put a piece of this book page down so that it doesn't get glue on my mat, maybe. Yeah, I like that. And what are we going to tie it together with? Let me grab a piece of... Hmm, I don't know, I might tie it together with sorry silk. Since I'm using sorry silk all the way through, we may just tie it with this. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, there we go. Cute. I love it. All right. I'm going to trim a little of this off because I can use that for tag toppers. I'm going to leave that little bit of blue there because this cover has a little bit of blue in it. So that is going to be my journal. And it's ready to go for next week when we go with the kids. And I can take pictures of Erin on stage and singing and all of that and then put it in here. Write down all of my memorabilia of him for next week oh i'm excited now to use it <laughs> all right guys that is it for this tutorial and like i said i think there may be one 
more AJ kit left. If you want that, grab it. All right, we will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And thank you so much, Susan. I appreciate this. All right, bye-bye, guys.